I don't know why he's, we're surprised by Trump. How many times does he have to prove we can't be trusted? And by the way, you know, I was in that World War I cemetery at, in France. And uh, the one that my, one of our colleagues, the former president, didn't want to go and be up there. I probably shouldn't even say it anyway. Barack, Barack Obama, if you're listening, you need to come get your boy. You need to come get your boy, Joe Beijing Biden. Okay? He's uh, malfunctioning. He's malfunctioning so bad that the mainstream media, I never thought I'd see the day, okay? I never thought I would see the day. It looked hopeless. It looked like they were going to have us to try to vote for a skeleton in a suit, all right? Okay, a non-moving corpse. That's what they was going to try to get us to vote for. Barack, come get your boy. All right, come get come drag Joe out of the White House. All right. He's going to hurt himself. They're going to hurt him. Jill Biden is a very greedy lady. Okay? She's a very power-hungry woman. All right, to put her husband through this. Okay? I know that you, they don't want to pick Kamala Harris because she's worse than Joe Biden. All right, she's the worst of the worst, okay? They only hired her because she was black, period. That's the only reason why they hired Kamala Harris. She didn't meet any of the qualifications, right? The Democrat Party doesn't even want Joe Biden to step down, and he's got dementia. They don't even want him to step down so, because they'll be stuck with Kamala Harris. What does that tell you? That means that they only hired her because of her complexion, her skin color, okay, and because she's a woman. That's it. Is, that's, that's your hope? I mean, literally, uh, black America, please, if you're here, listen to this video. If you see this video, you can't just vote for somebody because they're black. Why do I say that? I'm black. Why would a black man say that? Why would a black dude say that? Is it because I'm an Uncle Tom? Is it because I'm a boot licker? Is it because I'm tap dancing for the white man? No. The only reason why I say that, I'm serious. Look at me. Look at me. Uh, the only reason why I say that, come here. The only reason I'm saying that, because if you're not qualified, even to work at McDonald's, you can't have a job. Don't matter what color your skin is. Ask anybody. And any other job setting, it doesn't matter what color your skin is. If you can flip the burgers at McDonald's, you can work there. If you're good with customer service, you're probably going to do well. But you just can't hire somebody because they're black. All right. It, would you hire a Chinese person just because you think that they can teach you karate just because they're Chinese? That sounds stupid, doesn't it? Yes. But that's exactly what they want us to believe about Kamala Harris. Not that she could teach us karate, but because she's black, she got some kind of superpowers. No, we don't need that. We need a businessman to run the country. OK, uh, preferably one that's been successful already. And that man is Donald Trump. But as you can see, Joe Biden is falling apart, okay? I'm, I'm tired of watching Joe Biden fall apart. He's falling apart. You see those gaffes? Those are real. Those aren't cheap fakes, all right? Kareem Jean-Pierre, those aren't cheap fakes. Those are real uh, gaffes. They're not exclusive. Everybody can see it, all right? It's time for Joe Biden, according to the mainstream media, to have a cognitive test. That means that they think that something's wrong with his head. We told you that something was wrong with his head. Don't try to act like we were crazy. Don't try to pretend like we were the crazy ones. We told you long time ago, long, 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 long time ago, we told you that Joe Biden was a vegetable. We said it. We told you. All right. A monkey could see it. Uh, but there are a lot of people in our world... <laughs> <laughs> in the United States and in our world that are absolutely oblivious to what is going on. But thank you to the debates, okay? I'm glad that they actually had the debates. 
I literally, I thought Joe Biden was going to come out like Mike Tyson, okay? Uh, Trump didn't even, Trump said, you know, I'm not going to underestimate him. He's been a good debater. Smart move, Trump. Smart move. Trump gave him more credit than he could handle. And he came out there, instead of looking like Mike Tyson, instead of looking like a prize fighter, like a Bruce Lee or something, Joe Biden actually looked like SpongeBob. That's what happened. This is fascinating. This is very, very, extremely fascinating to me because I never thought that the mainstream media would try to get Joe Biden a cognitive test. He definitely needs it. Okay. All right. When you take your grandfather's keys, it should already, you, you have the indication, you already know you're taking his keys. You know that he's doing bad. But for some reason, Joe Biden's been getting a pass. It's because he's so weak and they can control him. Let's take a listen. I want to react to this CNN video. Haven't watched the whole thing, but I've been hearing what they've been saying. And it's time for Joe Biden to get his damn head checked. Okay. Yes. Well, uh, Fred, good morning. You know, first of all, this is not a, a political essay. It's a medical one. And I think a lot of the things that, um, you know, people saw at that debate weren't necessarily new but they were sustained and I think more more uh, pronounced than what we had seen in the past. And I think that's what really. Do you hear the honesty? Can you believe this? Uh, it, it makes you think that this is too good to be true. <laughs> Let me pinch myself. <laughs> pinch yourself. Are you? Yeah, no, it's real. Um, but there, there must be some sinister plan behind it all. I don't trust the mainstream media. I don't trust anything they do, even though I don't believe that they can win the election. But listen to the honesty. Uh, they said this has been going on for a long time. Yeah, we know. Provoked um, the essay. Uh, I think that the question really being raised is, have we been looking at episodes, intermittent episodes, or is this reflective of some sort of deeper underlying condition? And it's definitely a deeper underlying condition when we're talking about Joe Biden. Okay. I've never seen, not in the history of YouTube, me watching, I've never seen this many gaffes on a person. I've never seen this many bloopers. I've never seen it. I've never seen it. Yes. We're witnessing a man that is in such bad decline. I hope they do do a test and I hope they, uh, I hope they broadcast the results for the entire world so we can see. Um, and with Kamala Harris, she should have a cognitive test too because we don't trust none of y'all. And that's what, what I really wanted to get at. Let me, let me tell you a few of the things that uh, specifically jumped out. And I will also mention, as you're looking at some of these specific signs that neurologists noted, that after the debate, I got a lot of calls, texts, emails from my neurology and brain science colleagues from uh, around the world, frankly, uh, sort of highlighting some of these things. Yeah. But if you take a look, um, slow response time, I think we saw that, you know, sort of in a sustained fashion. D definitive word, word retrieval mix-ups, um, rambling, sometimes confused speech, reduced voice volume as well, and reduced facial movements. And these things can all be connected. Uh, we often think of cognition simply being memory, but if someone has an underlying movement disorder, for example, that can actually affect um, cognition in the sense that people may have... Am I the only one? Or are you thinking, what else are they lying about? Like, I hope you are. I mean, if, you, if you're watching this channel, you probably already know. I, I'm just, let me give you your credit. But there are people out there that are just finding this out. I, I want to talk to you for a second. Are you thinking that all this time, th he just said, this, is a, this has been going on for a while. We all knew this. Now, the average listener to this channel, uh, we already knew it long time ago. Okay, we, we actually know a lot more than you think we know. Okay. <laughs> You all are just getting it. It's coming out very slow. We hope that somebody shared some of these videos with you because this is just getting old. It's getting really old. We're tired of it. We're we're ready to move on to President Trump. That's what we're ready to move on. We're so ready for it. We're already there. We can taste it. Oh, man, I hope they don't try to do nothing funny around election time. Boy, oh, boy, they better not do that. Oh, I'm just saying. We already knew this guy. I hope that you see this and I hope that you're asking yourself, what else are these people lying about? I hope this causes some mistrust for you because they've been telling us for a very long time 
literally that Joe Biden is sharp as a tack, that there's nothing wrong with his cognitive ability. So much so they went all this time, three and a half years, without even giving this man a cognitive test. Trump got one. Trump aced it, did perfectly fine. If you get pulled over, you ran a red light. Officers say he wants you to take a breathalyzer because you ran a red light. I'm just saying, right? You know you ain't been drinking. You know you, let's say you ain't been drinking. You know that you haven't been drinking, right? You just ran a red light, right? Simple. You ran a red light. If you knew you were in good shape, wouldn't you just go ahead and take the breathalyzer test? Yes, you would. <laughs> the average person would do that because you don't want to make the officer think that you've been drinking and driving, right? Same deal here. That's all more flattened uh, affect um, face and and not really be speaking as quickly or as loudly now if it were my if he were my patient if he were my dad frankly I would want to get more testing done cognitive testing and more detailed movement disorder testing as well now you've heard Fred what the White House has said about this they say look it was essentially it was a bad night for him uh, he had had late nights he had had jet lag he had a cold we heard he wasn't taking any medications for that and those things can cause uh, temporary brain fog if you will <laughs> how about for three and a half years could it do that no <laughs> no 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 this has been going on for a long time. Joe Biden is uh, debilitated. He can't, he can't, there's no way in the world he can continue to be president. They need to remove him. All right, I don't know if they will. I don't think that they are able to, but it's possible. Anything is possible. All right, Democrats don't want you. They get rid of you somehow. <laughs> okay, hopefully you don't come up missing. Joe, be careful, Joe. If you're listening, be careful. Uh, just be careful, man. But again, this idea, are we looking at episodes of something? Or is this a condition that should be more fully investigated? And it really seems to be more of the latter. Okay, so we understand his last examination was about four months ago, full examination, about four months ago. So right. of these items that you're talking about, are these? That was a physical examination, okay? Come on, man. Anybody ever been to a, a physical examination? They ain't nothing, all right? No, we, we, we want to go and do a deep analysis okay, about what's going on in Joe's head because our economy's collapsed and our borders are wide open. All right. A sensible person would never allow that. All right. If you go back into history just a little bit, uh, just a little bit ago, uh, almost every person running for president advocated for closed borders. OK, for some reason, Joe Biden, he wants them wide open. Hmm. I wonder what could be happening at the borders. Uh, that someone would want the borders wide open. I wonder what could be happening. Hmm. Progressive. Do they sneak in? Uh, you know, are these characteristics um, that have been, I guess, rising to the surface for a while in which for, you know, neurologists to diagnose? I mean, help us assess um, yeah. whether this is a blip in a reel or if it's something that has progressively gotten this way. Yeah, that, I think that, that is the question again, this, this idea, are we looking at episodes and are these episodes sort of progressively linear and getting said worse? That. Or do they really just fluctuate and more easily attributed to other things? Again, a viral illness or lack of sleep or low blood sugar or something like that. Mm -hmm. what, the, what the medical report from February said, and it was a six page report, there were some 20 medical specialists that uh, spent time with the president, including a neurologist, uh, we are told at that point, and they ruled out specific things um, like stroke like multiple sclerosis, um, but also Parkinson's disease, for example. They said he did not have these things. How about dementia? Huh? Now, I will point out Parkinson's disease is the most common cause of what is known as Parkinsonism, but there are other causes as well. And they weren't fully, it didn't, at least from the medical report, did not seem to be fully investigated. And again, that's the sort of testing that we're talking about. If you want to distinguish if these are some, something that are, are more of these episodes versus a condition, you really do need that sort of testing. And I'll point out as well that, you know, you've heard about these cognitive tests, uh, such as the Montreal Cognitive Assessment. I think we have an image of that that you can see. Um, this is about a, a you know, 10 to 20 minute exam uh, that someone will do. And it's it basically a blunt screening tool to try and figure out, is there something to be more concerned about? We were told President Trump has had that done twice. 
It did, it did not appear, at least, in the medical records that President Biden had that done. And when the No, no. Yeah, he doesn't. He should have every cognitive test possible. I got money on Joe Biden flunking the test. Okay? I got money. You want to bet me? Uh, go ahead and leave a comment. All right? A thousand dollar bet. Okay? If you believe in Joe Biden so much in the comment section, go ahead. I'll put a thousand dollars up. Okay? I bet you he fails. If the mainstream media is honest, I guess that's what we would have to worry about because they've been lying for a long time. But it seems like they're on a roll here to tell the truth. So I'll bet $1,000 to anybody that said Joe Biden will win this cognitive test. That he'll come out and ace it. I guarantee you he'll fail. Guarantee you. The White House was asked about it. Essentially, the response was the doctors say it's not necessary. Yeah, it's very interesting to see what will happen All right, if they'll actually give Joe Biden, he said, if, he'll, if he'll agree to take the test, okay? He wouldn't take a drug test. We all know why. Somebody had to leave some cocaine at the White House. But who did it? Uh, yeah, we'll have to see if Joe Biden will agree to it. All right, because we all know they're so desperate. Joe, I think it's Joe Biden. She's, she's more desperate than anybody uh, that Joe Biden doesn't look too bad. You know, she feels bad for him. If she felt so sorry for him, uh, she would never put him through this. That's my that's my uh, analysis on that. All right. So uh, I don't I don't like I said, I got a thousand dollars. If you want to make a bet, make a bet. Come on, bet me. You believe in your boy Joe Biden so much. I've been out on the streets talking to people, too. I talk to hundreds of people. OK, all of the time. Like I'm, I'm always talking to people in the streets. I asked a woman the other day. I said, Biden or Trump? Oh, gee, I don't know. Hmm. She said, well, Biden. I said, why? I, just, I don't know. I just don't like Trump. She, she said that. She lives in West Virginia. Okay. These libs are everywhere. Okay. I, like, I try to drive the libs out of West Virginia. I, I really do. I scare them. I walk around with my gun on my hip. They, they're already terrified. But, you know, they don't know why they're voting for Joe Biden. They just hate Trump. I said, can you name one good policy? Just tell me why. I, I really want to know. One good policy. Uh, she said, I just don't like Trump. I said, are you serious? I said, what they say on YouTube is really true. You have TDS. I'm giving you a recommendation to see a, a psychologist, <laughs> a psychiatrist. <laughs> okay, You, you got to go to therapy because something wrong with your head. All right. There's something wrong with your head if you vote for Joe Biden. It's, it's no way in the world that uh, you're paying attention and you understand everything that's going on. Don't feel bad. If, you, if you're listening to this video and you, you don't know who to vote for, you, you just you don't have any clue. You can watch some of my videos. There's a lot of uh, commentators that make good sense out of all this stuff for you. All right. There's uh, Brandon Tatum, Officer Tatum. He's really popular. You can find him really quickly. Black conservative perspective. Uh, there's Barry Cunningham. Uh, there's a lot. Candace Owens. I mean, they can break it, all this stuff down for you. Uh, yup, I said it. That's, that's my platform. Uh, you know, we make sense. We make good sense. All right. Just, just watch the videos. Share the videos. Share them with people so they understand. Uh, you, you, you can't explain it. And sometimes you just don't have time to explain. Sometimes people don't talk to other people. Just share the videos with other people. All right? But go ahead and get educated, man. Go ahead and figure out what's the fuss. What's the big fuss about? Go find out why people are voting for Joe Biden. And then weigh it to why people are voting for Trump. Weigh them against each other. Which one weighs stronger? Which one makes more sense? Is it because uh, Democrats voting for uh, equity and inclusion and diversity? Uh... None of that has anything to do with the economy and how much your food costs. Because if you can't afford to live, you can't afford to live, okay? Uh, do you want the cost to go down? Do you want to see a better economy? Gas prices go down? If the food costs went down and the gas costs went down, hey, look, we can talk. This is, this is actually, you, you, it gives you some room to breathe. Because right now, even if you're a millionaire, billionaire, you're having a hard time. You can't live the same kind of life you did before. Okay, so you you gotta you gotta do some research here before you go and cast the ballot here. This is a big deal. It's it's a lot of power on the ballot. All right, there's there's a lot of power in this. It's not about skin color. It's not about diversity, equity, and inclusion. It's not about any of that. It's economics, how much things cost, inflation, how much things cost, and, and open borders. We need those closed. We don't need criminals coming to our country. You listen, guys. You don't just let people come into your country. It, that's not how it works. It would be wonderful if everyone came in and they were awesome, okay? 
That would be great. If, if all the people came into our country and we could just trust them, you know, you would just trust them. If you could just let people move into your house. What about your house? Could you just let people move into your house? No, you wouldn't. You wouldn't want to know who they are, where they come from, what they intend on doing, if they're going to be working. That's all. That's all the conservative is saying. Let's slow it down. Let's slow it down. Let's, let's stop these people and check them out and see who they are. Because there are a lot of uh, really, really, really bad people coming across our borders right now, man. And I'm not trying to scare you, but I don't have to try to scare you. You should be afraid, especially if you don't carry a pistol. You should be on alert, I should say. You shouldn't be afraid. You should be alert, on high alert. Uh, because we got open borders. You can look at any country who, who's ever had open borders and their crime goes sky high. Guys, thank you so much for watching. Uh, enjoy your Sabbath day. And until the next time, like, share, and subscribe. I love you.